Hello, my name is Josh, and I'm Watchaholic. Welcome to Horology Insanity. What is up, my watch friends? So, check this out. Today, we are taking another look at this awesome Serge or Surge Model 1. This thing is beefy. It really is, but I dig it. I kind of dig it. So if you haven't watched it, check right up here. There will be a link to my not a review of this where you can check out the specs and I'll talk about some of the other stuff. But what I want to do in this video is really a comparison and I want to throw it up next to a couple of watches and other things that it reminded me of. And so with that, let's just check this out. This thing is pretty sweet and it's the case and the steel bracelet that I really want to focus on in this comparison so as i mentioned in the other video this is a stainless steel 316l stainless steel and on the website it says that he stone washed it so it is a stone washed bracelet and case now let me zoom in here real quick because when i get right up on it you can kind of see some of the texture that this has and the texture when you pull it away, gives it a wonderful, almost like a stone-like look to it. And you can see the screws don't necessarily have it. They look like hex head screws, but look at all around the case. It's got this wonderfully worn, well-worn look. And so the first thing I thought about when I saw it was the Patina G Square. Now, as I mentioned in my last video, this is an AliExpress kit. This is not the OEM version of this watch. I do have a video. In fact, I probably have a couple of videos on the OEM one so that you can go check those out. But this is the AliExpress kit. And in the same way that the AliExpress kit, or really the way that Casio wanted to portray a watch that really just was aged. They call this the aged IP coating, right? And it's meant to look like it's just well-worn and patinaed all the way around from being well-worn. That's what the vibe I'm getting from this Serge Model 1. Now, you'll notice that where the base on this one is kind of black and then it's been weathered under that. This is just the raw steel and then it's kind of got the weathering on top of that but it gives you the same effect. Now, the trick is, is that when I compare it to this, usually the comparisons that I try to do show you something that you might actually have seen in real life. And in this case, these G-Shocks, I mean, granted, you can get these kits on AliExpress, but the actual G-Shock, right? They're hard to come by. They're hard to get your hands on. And so what I've done is I've got a couple of other things that I want to hold up here to maybe give you the impression of what this looks like in person if you can't get your hands on one of these rare watches. And I did a whole nother video of that, but the main thing I'm going to show you again are these two flashlights. Now, I don't know if it's my Asperger's or OCD or whatever it is, but when I find something that I like and it works well, I usually buy a backup or three of them. And so here is what I've done with this. I tested out this light and I liked it so much. Let's get in on this, see what this is. This is the Streamlight ProTac 1 AAA battery. This thing is a wonderful pocket flashlight. And so what I do is I carry this one in my pocket next to my keys and my Leatherman. And you can see that over time, it's just the, the black coating on it has worn off. And up here on the edges, you can see that it's worn off completely. But down here, you can see that it's just kind of worn off in a patchy way, which is the same kind of texture and look that you get on this. So anyway, I thought that might help if you have something like this that is just kind of worn and beat up, something that's in your pocket, then it probably will give you a very similar aesthetic as to what we've got going on here or what we had going on with that IP aged patina G-Shock Square. Now, the other ones that I wanna compare this to are really not necessarily for the patina, even though the first one we could talk about patina. 
I really want to talk about it about the way that it wears. And so you'll notice that this on the left, this is the Zelos Hammerhead. It's the brown meteorite version. And I think this might be like a V2, but you can see that this um, bronze has taken up some patina and it does patina a little differently, right? Like if we compare, can I get these side by side somehow? So you can see that it's it's interesting the way that like the IP age coating or the stone washing on this Serge is different than like a bronze patina when it happens. But the reason I wanted to put these side by side is because on wrist, these remind me a lot of each other. Um, one of the things I'll take a look at, the overall lug to lug on this Serge, they say it's 46. Let's take a look at it real quick. I don't think I did this in the not a review section but yeah 45.8 and so what happens when you get a tighter lug to lug like that is it doesn't sit huge on the wrist i tried it on on my eight inch wrist and you can see here most of them like some of the hamiltons and some of those others especially with the lugs they'll be 48 50 millimeters and so they really wear a lot larger than this does because the compact lug to lug on it makes it just wear a little smaller it gives it it just feels maybe a little bit smaller than it really is and so as soon as i put this thing on this is what i was reminded of i was reminded of the zelos hammerhead and i know a lot of guys that watch my channels y'all are fellow zelos addicts like i am so that might tell you if you're looking for this surge this is about the wrist feel that I think it gives. Now, more specifically, I'd put down that one. This comes close, although this is the titanium version, but the bracelet and just the way that the overall watch wears on wrist and the heft that it has, it might be more appropriate to compare these two. Now, I do not have a stainless steel version of this hammerhead on the left. And if I did, that would probably be the most appropriate comparison to these because this titanium hammerhead doesn't quite have the weight on it that this Serge does or that the stainless steel version of this hammerhead would have. But again, just the way I was reminded of the bracelets you know, they're 22 mil, they don't really have taper, they've got like a hefty clasp. Now the Zelos, of course, has the dive extension on it. You can probably get a, a, another clasp for this if you wanted to. There are companies out there that sell clasps like this. Miltat would be one. And so what, if you wanted to have the diver's extension, something like that, you could probably easily add that over here to the Serge, even though it doesn't come with it. But yeah, that's what I wanted to do. I just wanted to kind of compare that. I wanted to let y'all see what it looks like just up close and personal and just that texture. That's really what I wanted to look at because the texture is pretty sweet. And when you zoom out on it like this, it really just gives you like an overall aesthetic. Just that, that is just well-worn. That's the way that I would talk about this one. So anyway, with that, we'll call this one a wraps. Check back in the next video because I want to talk about the reason why I borrowed this watch to begin with and an experience that I had with a Bell and Ross, which is what made me want to check this out. And I wanted to be able to compare the two. So that's coming up in the next video. All right, my friends, until we talk again, please remember what really matters and that that's not watches. Keep the insanity safe.